In the wake of tragedies like the shooting spree at Sandy Hook Elementary School, shock and sorrow are often followed by frustration that evil prevailed. If only someone could have been there to intervene. In Maricopa County, Arizona, Sheriff Joe Arpaio and his posse of some 500 gun-toting civilians are those guardians of good, or so they believe. But not everyone agrees. My co-anchor, Terry Moran, reports. At a high school just outside Phoenix, Arizona, a madman stalks the hall. It's just a training exercise, but this is every parent's worst nightmare. These men are learning how to fight the next school shooter. You can't wait that long. And oddly enough, their coach is 1990s action film legend Steven Seagal. For every second that goes by, I told you this, you could have dead children. The Out for Justice star knows a thing or two about simulated shootings. But he's not acting here. He's a full-fledged member of Maricopa County's official posse under the leadership of Sheriff Joe Arpaio. We'll be training, trying to neutralize domestic terrorists without firearms and with firearms. The county's posse will protect the county's schools. It's the latest high-profile gambit from the man they call Sheriff Joe. If we have to take action, we will take action if there's uh, some type of catastrophe that's going to happen. And the stakes are higher than ever. Sandy Hook School, call is indicating she thinks there's someone shooting in the building. Five minutes is all it took for the horror to unfold in Newtown, Connecticut. So now the great debate is joined. How can we protect our children? This week, the National Rifle Association offered at least one answer, arm teachers. That is an appropriate resource that a school should be able to utilize. But back in Arizona, Sheriff Joe has decided to take matters into his own hands. We are here to protect the children. That's the main mission. They came across the border, they are criminals. If you haven't heard of Sheriff Joe Arpaio, well, that's almost hard to believe. I'm running again for sheriff for my sixth four-year term. Since he was elected sheriff back in 1992, Arpaio has been a publicity machine on immigration, prisoners' rights, gun control, you name it. This man has found his way into the national discussion. Guns? Killing kids? That didn't happen when I grew up. And now he's got an angle on school safety. So the NRA comes out and makes this call for guns in schools. Are you just doing the NRA's bidding? I don't copy other people what they do. They copy me. Arpaio's idea, armed citizens enlisted into his 3,000-member sheriff's posse patrolling near schools in the mostly rural, unincorporated towns of Maricopa County. A lot of people around the country hear the word posse and they think an undisciplined gang of guys without proper supervision endangering the community rather than protecting it. Maybe they're watching too many old cowboy movies, but the concept is the same. Instead of going after horse thieves, we go after car thieves and every, or anybody else that violates the law. Chamber open, magazine inserted, safety's on. Screws are ready. You don't want a hole in your roof. Mike Garstad is one of Sheriff Joe's posse men, one of 500 he's certified to carry a weapon. It's not glamorous. This is pretty much as it goes all day long. It's pretty random and sometimes it's pretty monotonous. 38 years old, father of three, Mike works as a radar technician out at the airport. Like every other member of Arpaio's posse, he's a volunteer. It's like a hobby. You know, some people take up pottery, some people take up poker playing. I, I choose to do this. Mike never actually enters school grounds. He just patrols the surrounding area, strip malls, parking lots, looking for that needle in a haystack. The school patrol is essentially a community patrol. But gun control advocates say armed civilians anywhere near a school could be a recipe for disaster. Some of the parents we spoke with at a school on the Posse's Watch agree. You have people that have weapons on them that can murder other people, and they're volunteers. They're, they're not police officers. And I honestly worry about instances like what happened in Florida with Trayvon Martin. This is rent-a-cop stuff. Geezers with guns, people say. And you're risking the kids' lives more than you're protecting them. What kind of training do these guys have? We give them law enforcement training. In fact, I'm going to do more. It's the same training that you'd get in a police academy? 
Not exactly. They don't go through that many hours. You can go through all the training you want, but it's the common sense sometimes that makes a difference. Arpaio has built his posse over the years and assigned them all kinds of tasks, from patrolling malls during holidays to investigating President Obama's birth certificate to hunting down undocumented immigrants. For three and a half years, every day they're in front of this building calling me Nazi Hitler. The Obama administration's Justice Department has filed a suit accusing Arpaio of a pattern of unlawful discrimination. Joe's gotta go! Joe's gotta go! Activists call it a reign of terror, and they worry that the sheriff's school posse will be part of it. I'll get on the other side here. I saved their lives? Where? I saved my kids' life. They were on drugs. Wait, they were on drugs? <coughs> you getting this? Or? Everybody knows Sheriff Joe in this county like the Hispanic mom who pulled up alongside us and thanked him Thank for jailing and straightening out her wayward sons. Thank you. You made my day because I get a lot of heat from the Hispanic community. At 80 years old, he still likes all the attention. It's over there! It's over there. But is his school posse just PR or a real solution? I give up! I give up! Maybe both. I preach, I'm going. I want everybody to know we're out there, our iron posse. Did they want to call me a publicity hound? Good.